What up? This is Lisa Paris of rawbeats.com and this is episode 7 of Pillow Talk. Today on my pillow we've got the Tribest Personal Blender. The thing that's great about these blenders like the Tribest or the Magic Bullet is that they're for one to two people, they're compact, and they're great for on the go. So I'm going to show you how to use one today and we're going to be making raw french fries and raw ketchup and we're going to make the ketchup in this and we're going to make the raw french fries in my raw vegan deep fat fryer just kidding we're not going to fry them and they're actually not even potatoes so stick around and we're going to make the ketchup and you'll see what raw vegan french fries are made of Okay, so we're back in the Raw Beats kitchen. I've got my little life aquatic scene going on back there. So this is the Tribest Blender Base. You'll see the cord, okay? How this works is this is your container where we're going to put everything, and the blade is actually going to screw into the bottom of it, okay? So we screw it on, we put it in here, lock it in, and then the blade works like that, okay? So we're going to make our ketchup in this. And what I'm going to put in here first is a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, okay? So these are sun-dried tomatoes. You'll usually see these at the store packed in oil. We're not gonna do the oil-packed kind. I get the dry kind. I'm just putting them in the little blender here. I get the dry kind from the health food store and I soak them in water for a few hours. So you can find them at your local health food store, um, usually in a bulk section and then just soak them in water. And then we're gonna add two fresh chopped Roma tomatoes. Okay, I've chopped them all up here, and I'm just putting them in, loading them in here. Put it up here so you can see. Okay, so there's two chopped tomatoes. And then we're gonna put one pitted date. Okay, so this is the pitted date. It was a whole date, I took the pit out. And I soaked the date in water for about 20 minutes too, just to soften it up. If you have a higher powered blender, then you don't really need to worry about it. And this is fresh lemon juice, okay? I've got two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. I'm just pouring into here, like this. And from here, we're just gonna salt, sea salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of sea salt in here, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, and voila! this on and you can watch how this puppy works okay so <laughs> Robbie can catch up and you're probably wondering what we make the fries out of. Okay, so I'll try not to get ketchup on my pillow because that's kind of ghetto. These are our live fries. And what they are is this handy little root vegetable called a jicama. So this is a jicama. And all I did was I peeled this uh, outside edge because it doesn't taste very good, the skin. And then I cut the jicama up into fry-like pieces and I simply put sea salt and fresh ground pepper on and then mix it up. So those are our french fries. Let's give it a try. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yes, sir. I would like fries with that. So good. Mmm. If they had these at in and out I'd apply there. Mmm. Okay. So get on it, kitties. Make your raw ketchup and french fries. Don't forget to eat your beets and check out rawbeets.com. Come back tomorrow. It's fa 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 Friday tomorrow. We're going to make one more killer recipe for the week. We're going to be using a food processor. So check back in. Have a beautiful Thursday, and we'll see you later. Bye.